So we have to be very careful with how we address this because this is going to be one of those things that is going to be very easily detectable and very uh, of the incorrect opinion. But if you can see that, this is what Ian Carroll is dubbing the craziest story that never happened. And he starts with, do you know what the deadliest mass shooting in American history is? This is going to revolve around the Las Vegas shooting. And all I got to say is Ian Carroll has done it once again. I will say if you're not familiar with Ian Carroll, definitely check him out. He's one of the top dogs when it comes to doing the uh, TikTok conspiracy type stuff. Um, but he does really, really, really good work. Have you ever seen the map of that one thing that happened in Las Vegas that we're not allowed to talk about? Yeah, there's like a whole map on the internet. You got to check this out. So open up a search engine, whichever one you want, and type in these four words. That's the keyword right there. Map. It'll be like the fourth hit or something. You're looking for this one right here. Click on that. It takes you to this thing, which is a whole rabbit hole. So I don't know who made this thing, but whoever you are, you're a legend. It's incredible. Let, let, me, let me show you what this is. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm going to try my hardest to show you this stuff without getting this video taken down and my account's fucked up because you're really super not allowed to talk about this for reasons. So this is our map right here. For reasons, which really means um, because you cannot know, you shall not know. Um, and, and probably because there's probably something nefarious behind this. E even I, when I first read about the details of the story, um, it seemed literally absurd on its, uh, on its face. Um, but again, some of those videos uh, uh, that came out about it were just so kind of like a uh, uh, shock and awe. Um, and so, of course, you're going to get very, very, very bad um, impressions, similar to how uh, uh, the rhetoric was surrounding Alex Jones and Sandy Hook. But let's go ahead. Here and over here, I've got Google Earth up so that you can see more easily. So this this hotel right here, that's the Mandalay Bay Hotel. It's that one right there. And they're hosting this country music concert right there in October of 2017. And then some super effed up shit happens. And this is where the map comes in. This is all archived evidence, videos, 911 calls, autopsy reports. This video right here, for example. So when you click on it, it gives you the video. It gives you descriptions and timestamps. You can watch the video, click. So if you don't know what's about to happen in this video, don't worry, you're not gonna see anything graphic. I'm intentionally just gonna show you the ones where you hear what's happening. I need to remind you, you're just at a country music concert in downtown Las Vegas, and then all of a sudden... Hopefully I'm not risking my entire channel by playing this. <clears throat> um, but so we'll use, we'll use the language and adopt what he's saying as well. But I do have to say that map being that comprehensive is wild. Um, you got to think more than one guy had to have been involved to do that map, especially for data collection like that. You hear that? That is exactly what you think it is. So the official story is that just this one dude just went and kitted out his hotel room with like an entire militia's worth of guns and ammunition and then just lost his mind out the window. And just to be clear, that's exactly what happened. So everything else I'm about to show you is just like coincidences and misinformation and weird 911 reports and people just losing their minds. And yeah, this is this is entirely fake. You know, I can't I can't even believe I'm, I'm, I'm watching this misinformation. Just quite honestly absurd someone would even try to try to lie to this level you know what i mean like man just same thing with the election dude like who would lie about stuff like that general and it's mostly all fake because he's the only guy that night that did any shooting at all because he actually took his own life at the end of it the cops didn't even get to his room until like an hour after he was out of there like not like he, he never left his room he just like of his own accord, theoretically, on his own. He was all alone. There's no one else in the room. Well, he, theoretically, dude, you, you never question what the police tells you, especially what the TV tells you. What is this guy on about, man?
But anyways, that's why when you look at the map, there's all these like reportings around the hotel and there's all this horrible shit that happened right here in the festival. That's also why there's this 911 call happening over here to the side that I listen to, that you can listen to too. You just click on the little link, it's all linked up, where he clearly describes that he had direct visual on two dudes carrying the thing things that, you know, in that hotel running in a direction and he made a 911 call about it. That's also why up here at the Excalibur, there's like a three different 911 calls about this of the Excalibur. If you're not familiar with Las Vegas geography, that's where our dude is, the guy doing the bad stuff. We're like down here now in that building. But wait, there's more. There's also like 10 different 911 calls from the Tropicana saying there's stuff going on inside of that building. I do have to say, this is the first time I've seen any of this misinformation. Pretty absurd, uh, I, I do have to say. Um, the plethora amount of those of those 911 calls, I mean, I'm sure people were, 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 were in a huge panic moment. Uh, I, I, might, I do prayers out to those who were involved in this, who, who did lose their lives. That's all these right here. There's video, there's phone calls, those are all 911 calls. Then there's all these eyewitness videos of them like completely shutting down this intersection for what sure seemed like them suspecting there was some bad dudes around that area. Despite, remember, there's just one bad guy and he's just way up there in his little hotel room window and he never left until he totally checked out of reality. While he still had like more than half of his stash of ammo just chilling with him and the cops were not even at his door for another hour, mind you. He just was like, meh, I'm tired. I'm going to bed bed, like the long bed bed. Totally logical behavior for someone of this persuasion. Then there's this absolute clusterfuck of 911 calls from the Bellagio. People reporting things like that. Again, to clarify, one bad guy there, that's it. But the Bellagio is like way down here. Where is the Bellagio? It's like one of these guys, I think. Oh shit, no, it's even further down. It's right here, way down here. Like we're talking like this dude has somehow like made all of these dudes panic and think. Like you got to think like, man, all these people got together just to like make, just to lie. You got to remember, dude, this is entirely misinformation. Everything you see here is just, um, it, it never happened. It never happened, but it's a nice fiction. Think that there's something going on inside this building. Then you move up to the Mirage. There's there's more. Caesar's Palace, Mirage. Right there. 911 call. You can listen to it yourself. It's it's recorded. The Venetian. Same thing. Listen to the 911 call. That's not to mention that something seriously fishy happened at this helicopter tour spot right here, which you can see right here, where there's these 911 calls that came in from there, where dude's girlfriend calls and it's- I don't know if you cut it on the last one, but that one says number 357. I think the other one said 750. That is a wild amount. I mean, honestly, it makes sense for a country concert with that many people there, but to think that like the 911 lines were getting flooded with that many phone calls is insane. I imagine that sends like the, 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 the police station into a frenzy too. Like, you know, getting that much going on, you only have so many officers you can dispatch out at a certain time. It's wild stuff. It's like, yo, something super bad is happening here. And they're all locked down and they're hiding. And uh, one woman was injured. It's really not clear what happened to Sundance helicopters, but what is clear is there was some super weird helicopter stuff happening that night. You can see them in the videos, like helicopters that aren't police, that aren't supposed to be there, that don't officially exist. But then people started digging through the flight logs. Fifteen minutes before everything starts. And there's this whole rabbit hole to be done with a special kind of helicopter. I'm told that it uses its exhaust to be its rear like stabilizers instead of having a rear propeller. Makes it super quiet. Anyways, sidetracked. Anyways, there's way too much here to fit into a short form video. It's already super long. 
why have I just again? I'm sorry for repeating myself. Why have I never heard this misinformation before? Like, is this all a game? Like, is this or we? Is this a simulation that I'm in? Like, is it just like it, is someone like watching me right now, laughing as they play out and play with people's lives? Okay. I'll do a longer video about it at some point, but you should really go check out this map for yourself and just like think about it, think for yourself. There's a great documentary on Rumble called Route 91. Um, I think her name is Mindy, did a great job of compiling like the story and the evidence. She's a little intense, but you know. But she also doesn't go into this whole deeper layer and I don't know why she doesn't, I'm just gonna like benefit of the doubt, but there's a whole layer beneath what happened that leads to Saudi Arabia. Fake news. Mohammed bin Salman, the transition of the crown prince, the Khashoggi's, Jamal Khashoggi getting, shall we say, Julienne a year later to the day. I mean, it's literally like, what would happen if a Jason Bourne movie happened in real life and then the government had to cover up whatever the hell had just happened in downtown Las Vegas? This would be the story that you get. It was all just one psychopathic dude with an absolute truckload of weapons and bump stocks, mind you. Those never malfunction. And it just happened to take the police like an hour and a half to even get to his room. By then he was already- By like the Men in Black style, like What just happened? Or dude, imagine cleaning up after the Avengers, right? When the city's destroyed, how many memes have you seen towards that? I mean, trying to cover something up like that with, with cars, like, slammed into different areas and stuff. Like, tornado came through. You guys just didn't see it. Already just sick of the whole charade and had already gone to bed. Despite having an entire cache of weapons and ammunition still ready to go. And all these other reports from the night of videos and, and 911 calls and people freaking out. They were just crazy Las Vegas people. They were just hallucinating making up stories all up and down the strip all the they were drunk dude they're gambling dude <laughs> they're doing everything to get their money back that that had to have been why dude saying random things like like you know like that's why i lost all my money dude because like this this was happening everybody came up with that excuse that night <laughs> Oh my gosh. Although in dude. a few instances, those stories did drop like automatic handguns on the ground that civilians picked up and handed to police officers like, yo, I found this. It doesn't belong here. <laughs> I'm for real. If you don't know about this rabbit hole, go research this rabbit hole. Um, rest in peace to all the civilians that unfortunately lost their lives that day because what a tragedy. Like just at a music festival trying to live your life. It's honestly like really heartbreaking because on this map, these are all autopsy reports and you can read the details and I'm not going to go into them right now because something about that just seems kind of wrong on camera. But they're like teachers and mothers and like people with families. And it's just like, it's a little choking to actually turn it, like stop looking at it as like a crazy story and like a blah. And to actually think about like the human lives in this world. Because too often the news just turns into like news and clickbait and arguments on Twitter. But like, this is real life. And the He's got a phenomenal point, dude. And I said that on my last video too about, you know, the, the, the uh, guy getting crashed into by an illegal, you know, it, it is something that's very ghoulish, you know, especially when he's coming at it from the angle that he is. It's like, you still have to account for the fact that there were people, um, those losses are still very, 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 very real. Um, and it is a tragedy, you know, regardless of, of what misinformation you might be listening to about this. Um, it's extremely ghoulish. Um, but just to see so many, and I, and I forget what the actual total count was, but I do remember the, seeing the videos when they first came out as they were hitting social media. I mean, and it's just, you know, it, it, it's it's captivating for a lack of better words, because it's just, um, for one, especially being here in America, you don't see that stuff very often. I mean, you know, I guess here recently we're seeing a lot more uh, of, of, you know, gun violence occurring at, at that kind of uh, uh, framing. It is a bit heartbreaking, um, but phenomenal work for him uh, um, for, for wording it like he is. These are people's lives and we're all people. And I think too often we forget that we're pretty much all just people. We've all got families. We all just want the best for them. And we're all generally just doing our best to do it.
So yeah, tell someone you love them today. Don't trust the government. They're always lying. Drink some water. Ooh. And if anything crazy Ooh. ever happens, film it twice. Government definitely, oh, dude, the government always has your best interests, man. I can't believe he's even saying stuff like that. He's going to scare the people out there. Um, I, I do have, I do have one thing I will say to anybody who's watched this far and made it this far for one. Thank you. But two, you know, like, and, and share definitely. If you don't think you've seen this or you, you think other people should see this misinformation. But wow. I mean, that was my first time watching it. I actually only read the description. Um, but I, again, I know it was Ian Carroll, so I knew it was going to be good. Um, and that's why, again, I will repeat myself, like go and follow Ian Carroll. This man does phenomenal work and he's, he's so good at like at, at dodging the, the incorrect opinion on things. I'm going to have to figure out a way to actually even kind of word myself around this. I'm also partially concerned that music might get me copyrighted too. So maybe this video never even makes it out. But I'll echo his advice. <laughs> Don't trust the government. Let me know what you think about this. Comment if you even have any more, uh, if anything else I should look into revolving this too, because this seems like a very worthy rabbit hole of giving attention to, as long as it can abide by the YouTube rules, that is. I obey you, big tech. I love big tech. <laughs> See you next time.